Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and I tell you, I got a really nice one for you today. This one is a 2,632 square foot finished. I'm not sure exactly how many square feet are upstairs, but you got probably another 1,500 square feet or better unfinished upstairs. All right, well, we interrupt this video with a very important message. No, nah, just kidding. Um, anyway, it is late though. Um, Raiden and I just got back from uh, the local racetrack here. We just went and watched the uh, Firecracker 100, which is a 100 mile or 100 lap race for the hobby stocks along with a uh, main event before that of uh, the super lates that did a uh, 50 lapper. So it's almost midnight. Raiden just got in bed about 20 minutes ago. So with that, we're going back in time. This was just about a year ago, well, nine months ago. This is the very first home I ever got to film that was a two-story. I wasn't near as big as I am now on YouTube, so these videos didn't get as much uh, views as I was hoping that they would get. So we're going to go back in time and revisit this one. Hope you all enjoy. The price information at the end is current. I checked on the website. And I uh, hope you all enjoy it. I will see you at the end. Thanks a lot. I'm a long ways from home this time. We are in Sanford, North Carolina. Taking a look at all these beautiful homes they have out here at Homes by Vanderbilt. They have a lot of really nice homes here. This is just the beginning. You all got to wait. Just want to make sure that I tell you all though, while we're here, they only service a larger portion of the North Carolina area. In case you guys haven't seen any of these homes before, because yes, somebody else has already been here about two years ago, they've got a ton of really nice homes. Now this is the first one I'm filming, so I haven't been into any of these others yet, but you just wait. So before we even go in, I mean, look at this beautiful entrance that you have. I really like the colors they use and the way it stands out. Nice front porch here. So you can really kind of get out of the rain or just kind of come down over here, put yourself a rocking chair or a porch swing or something like that. Just sit out and enjoy the evening or the morning. Speaking of, I didn't even tell you, you got a, a your regular dining room and you got a morning room in this home. So as you come in, you've got this really nice foyer area. Looks really nice. I like the windows I used in the door there. See if I can get you a better shot there. And as we pan around, oh yeah, I guess we should point out this little divider wall here. Perfect spot to place your keys and everything as you walk in.
We'll save that for last. Really nice, great big living room area. Lots of windows, floor to ceiling. That almost looks like six or eight inch crown molding. Excellent size living room. So we're going to go from living room to your formal dining room. Really like the design of the dining room, the way it kind of comes out here. And you saw that when we were walking down the that front porch there. The dining room, we can go into the kitchen here. Really nice island. Really like the countertops they used here. And you got your vegetable sink in the island and then a window above your sink over here. I really like the designs of these sinks where they're flush with the countertop or when the countertop goes clear over the top of them. Take a look at the uniqueness of these handles here. Looks like some elbows with some pipes screwed into them. Definitely something I have never seen before as far as uh, cabinet handles. And that's throughout the entire kitchen here. Your microwave is down low in your island. Lots of cabinets in here. And I don't remember seeing a pantry when I did the walkthrough, so this would service as your pantry area. Nice little pull out. Oh, that's not a pull out, just decorations. Again, they got those really nice glass hoods that I really like. All right, before we get too long in this video, I got to start hurrying up. This would be your morning room. Build you a nice little deck out back or patio. Back here, I didn't even mention this is a two and a half bed or two and a half bath, three bedroom home. So we have your washer and dryer area here. Like I said, this is the first one for the day. Got to get into the groove. They continue with that same backsplash in your utility room here. Same countertops, different color cabinets though. Of course, all that piping will be hooked up when you actually get the home delivered to your home, to your place. There's your back door and your half bath. It's 
So this is the furthest I have ever traveled from home in my entire life, so to say. <laughs> nice little divider wall here too. I don't know if I pointed that out yet. Now we gotta go check out our bedrooms. So as I said, it was saying, that's the furthest I've ever been from home. Now I currently live in Montana, grew up in Oregon, but being all the way in North Carolina, that's a long ways. Nice little storage closet underneath your stairs. And of course I took my first flight ever to get here. You got dual sinks in your guest bathroom. Now the flying wasn't a problem. Didn't have any problem with flying. I've just always been one to drive wherever I've gone because I've never gone here this far from home before. So it was always just easier to drive. while we're here, hello Raiden, I know you're missing me. So in bedroom number one, you've got these nice little cutouts that stick out in your bedroom here. Now these are really nice sized bedrooms. For your kids' rooms, these are big bedrooms, actually. Nice big closet. Coming into bedroom number two. Now, this one might be just a little bit smaller. That might just be because of that little kick out right there, but still got essentially floor to ceiling windows in here. And these are nine foot ceilings in the home, in case I haven't mentioned that yet. And you got about the same size closet as the other bedroom. Whoops, a little dark down there for you. All right, so as we come through here, we're gonna go into the master bedroom. So we're gonna go this way first. So your master bedroom is really large, as you can tell. And you've got these nice beams that run in through here, really makes it stand out. Lots of windows in your master bedroom, floor to ceiling. They continued on with that crown molding all the way throughout the whole home. Really like this master bedroom. All right, before we get too long, I can't spend a whole lot of time in here. We still got a closet and a master bath and a hole upstairs to go. So in your closet, you got two transom windows, lots of store or lots of shelving in here. There's going to be your water heater access over there. Man, let's go check out your master bathroom. Really large bathroom. 
A couple of cabinets over here. Nice big counter, nice set of drawers in the center there. Even got some pretty deep drawers in here. I don't know if there's an option for a tub in this. I haven't uh, got a chance to look at the floor plans or any of the options yet. But you have this really big tile shower over here with a bench. Okay, rain head shower up above. You got the wand over here. So we gotta come upstairs here real quick. It's gonna blow you away. So you've got all of this area right here. Now I believe that those beams are about eight and a half foot, between eight and a half and nine foot up there. So just as tall as ceilings in here if you were to ever finish this. You've got all of this area here it comes way back over here. And if that isn't enough space for you, let's come check out over here. And you have a lot of extra space you'd need if you wanted to. So with that, let me know in the comments, what would you do with this upstairs area? What do you think? What do you think of the home? I honestly can't think of any changes I would want to make to it. it seems to be just about a perfect home. Don't forget to uh, make sure that that red subscribe button is gray and that your notifications are turned on. So that way you get notified when I upload more of these really awesome homes they have here. And I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Alright, so what did y'all think of the home? So I want to give you guys some price information on this home. This may or may not be the price. Prices vary all the time. Especially in today's market. You never know. It could go up. It could go down. This is at time of filming in October of 2022. The base price for this home right now is $378,000. The as shown price is $455,000. They are in North Carolina. I want to stress they only service the North Carolina area. So you've got to keep that in mind. Now keep in mind, depending on where that you deliver, have this home delivered, there could be other city, county fees. So just keep all that kind of stuff in mind. And I do thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.